Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you very much. All of you have come to support me, and thank you for all of you who are following us on social media. I want to say what I've said before. That Zambia under President Haga in the region is becoming a police state. This is a country where for every small thing that a person does, they have to be arrested. Yes, sir. I've been arrested, I've been charged with the offense of refusing to hand over a travel document to immigration department or to the passport office. Yesterday when I was called, I produced passports and I showed them that I only have one valid passport. And they still went ahead and said I refused to hand over a passport. Shame! And all the passports I have except one are all cancelled. So we we'll have a day in parliament, uh, sorry, in court, where I will have to explain myself. But before I do, the state will have to prove to the court that indeed I refused to hand over a passport to the passport office. But for you members of the Patriotic Front, my message to you is this. Haga Inde Hijema is determined to destroy the Patriotic Front and is going to harass all its leaders. On the day that I was arrested yesterday, he also decided to arrest the Secretary General of the party, Rafael Nakachin. He also decided to arrest the Chairman for Information of the party, Emmanuel Mwamba. Don't lose heart. Zambians, don't lose heart. Instead, make sure that you are prepared to be arrested as many times as possible. The freedom of Zambia did not come cheap. And therefore, we must not allow Haga Inde Ijidema to run away with Zambia's independence, with Zambia's multi-party democracy. We know that Haga Inde Ijidema is scared of the patriotic front. But now let us show him that actually he must be scared of the Zambian people. We, the Zambian people, are going to reorganize and make sure 
sure that we tell Haga in the that this country is for all the 20 million Zambians. Yes. It is not for one person and not for one political party. Yes. We were in government for 10 years. We allowed the UPND to survive. Why is he so scared about allowing the Patriotic Front to survive? The party shall not survive because of him. The party, the Patriotic Front, will survive because of the spirit of the founder of this party. That spirit is what all of you members of the Patriotic Front must invigorate in yourselves. All of you have the spirit of Michael Chirufi Asad, the spirit of being ready to be arrested. We, your leaders, are ready. I am ready if they wish to come and pick me again today because I'm again saying exactly what they arrested Emmanuel Mwamba for. Zambians, rise now! Rise to defend to defend democracy. This is your country. You can't leave it to an individual. That democracy that we have, our forebears died for it. We are also prepared to die for it. We all Zambians must stand up and say we are going to defend Zambia's multi-party democracy. We will not allow any one person to destroy Zambia's multi-party democracy. Our people died because of this. They have failed to make sure that they can feed you Zambians and now they want to hide behind arresting us. Arresting me will not reduce the price of millimil. Arresting Nakachinda will not reduce the price of millimil. Arresting Mwamba will not reduce the price of fuel. The lies you are telling people that PF are stealing three kwacha on a 15 kwacha liter of fuel. You failed to explain to the Zambian people why you have not reduced the price to 12 kwacha. Instead you have increased it to 30 kwacha. Shame upon you. To see the vice president in high spirits, as you can see, our honorable members, wherever you are following us from, the vice president is strong, in good spirits. But again, we want to say that this country is faced with so many challenges. Our people are starving. There is no food on people's tables. These are things that we should focus on. The cost of living for every Zambian is unbearable. And then we should waste time on chasing each other as politicians. Shame. It's a waste of time. And let's, let's think of Zambians first. If Zambians are happy, there's no need to start chasing politicians. The people of Zambia would decide. But I want to say one thing. These same police who are being abused today are the same police who were there when the United National Independence Party UNIP was in government. But the people of Zambia let them out. Movement for multi party democracy came and found the same police being abused. They left the same police is here. PF 10 years left these same apparatus. Even with the police and every all the apparatus, PF was moved out, was moved by the people. The you don't government should know that the authority they are wielding today, we had it ourselves. We are here today. You will be the next for the people of Zambia to send out. So let's treat each other with mutual respect. Thank you very much. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.